I'm with Charles Bolden, former NASA Administrator. Firstly, congratulations Charles on winning the IAF World Space Award. Oh, thank you very much, Lisa. How does that feel? Uh, it's kind of um, humbling and uh, awesome. I was, uh, as I mentioned to some people, I was shocked uh, to receive the word because, you know, having looked at the two prior recipients, I don't, I don't count myself in the same category, but, but I'm quite honored. What would you say is NASA's role now under the current U.S. administration? Um, you know, NASA's role doesn't change under, the, the good thing about NASA's role is that uh, we're governed by the, what's called the, the U.S. Space Act, and it started with the, the Space Act of 1958 that established the agency. And our job by charter is to be the governmental organization that um, oversees several different areas. One is space exploration, whether it be human or robotic, uh, aeronautics, which is sometimes forgotten, um, science, and, and then two other things which are sort of underlying components is education uh, for uh, all of the U.S. And, and then to promote international collaboration and cooperation to benefit the economy of the United States and the development of, uh, of the country itself. And how do you see that international collaboration really evolving yeah. and working at the moment in science and oh, aeronautics? If you look at where NASA is today, and I've been gone for nine months now, so I can, I can say where it was when I left. I don't think anything has dramatically changed, but uh, when I left, we had in excess of 800 international partnerships, active agreements with more than 120 nations, and they included everything across the NASA portfolio. So that meant everything from basic STEM education, uh, whether it be a program that, uh, that's very similar to something, or in fact it's called GLOBE, where we go into multiple nations in the world, work with the U.S. Embassy there and the, and the government, and uh, allow a, an elementary school kid to go out with a thermometer and take the temperature and go inside and enter it into an international database and become a, a world uh, science researcher. So that's, yeah. a, that's a very minor program yeah. uh, to what I consider to be a, a very unknown program, but, but critically important called SEVERE, where we're partnered with different countries around the world out of four sites around the world to provide real-time and archived earth science data to help uh, decision makers and normal people with uh, planning for things like crop development, water resources management, disaster planning and relief, and the four sites for SEVERE that we work with the U.S. Agency for International Development are in uh, Kathmandu, Nepal, in Nairobi, Kenya, in uh, Niamey, Niger, and in Bangkok, Thailand. And, and I feel really good. That's, it, it's my favorite program because I was actually on board when we opened up three of those four sites. And how important do you think a Congress like this is for the global space community? It gives us a, a venue where we can bring the world community together to look at uh, the present state of, of astronautics and uh, science and space exploration and also education uh, and, and do what we call introduce a competition of ideas, listen to ideas from multiple countries, from multiple entities, whether they be government, industry, entrepreneurs, or students, and uh, have people make their presentations and hope that, you know, those ideas will be heard and we'll make a decision that, you know, that sounds like a really good idea. We think a group of us wants to come together and pursue that uh, a little bit farther along, and so I, I think it's incredible. The other thing that I like about IEC is here, unlike a lot of other fora, um, not only do we look at the science of things, but we look at engineering, we look at the law. So there, there is a group that's, I forget their acronym, but it's, you know, an international legal consortium that actually has a mock court and, or moot court and uh, looks at issues of space law, which are critically important and emergingly important as uh, we get more and more nations who are interested in space exploration. You get more and more things that people never thought about before, like resource mining in space and the like, all of which there's no law for today, and so somebody's got to develop it. What, what is it that you hope that delegates might take away from this Congress? Um, I am seriously hopeful that one of the things that they leave this Congress with is knowing that the United States has not changed, that in spite of all they may see on the news or hear or read in the newspaper, that when it comes to space science and exploration, the U.S. is just as strident as we always have been, that it is something that, uh, that tends to go beyond any single administration or any one individual. 
that um, that you still have a lot of us who are who have always been around for years and and are just as energetic and passionate as we always were, and that they will look to the U.S. for leadership the way that they always have done. It's great to yeah. hear. Good. Thank yeah. you. Thank you, Charles. Thanks very much.